What's happening everybody? It's Nate Matthews from NeverDenyMe.com Back again with another review. Today we got another bike right here that we just got sent to us from DYU. So let's take a close up and check out some of the features and we'll take it for a spin. So this right here is the DYU C3 e-bike. This is the second time this company has reached out to work with me. The first bike they sent me was the DYU D3F, which actually does look very similar to the one that I'm going to be riding here today. Um, the differences it are, um, I guess the main difference to me is that this one actually comes with a rack. This rack is, um, what is it, 25 kilograms that it's weighted at, which is about 55 pounds if I did the uh, conversion there correctly. So this is a really nice addition to this one versus the other one I had to buy an aftermarket one and it kind of just attached kind of like how this is right here. And with it just hanging off, the weight was only about 20 pounds that it could hold. So this is 55 pounds. That's a great addition. Also, it looks like they added some uh, safety features in this one. Whereas um, the last one just had, I guess, a reflector for the tail light like that, it was kind of down here. This one actually has a powered light, so when you actually press the brakes, um, it does uh, show, and I'll actually do that right now. So the way we do that is press and hold, or yeah, press and hold the power button. We do have our battery right there indication. So we do have a full charge, and the way that we get this thing to come on, actually, I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys, but yeah, it's probably not gonna show because it's light, but there it is. You guys can kind of see it. So as I'm simply just holding the brake, it does come on and then if i actually set it it'll actually stay on if i choose to do so in addition to that they also acted uh, added instead of just a reflector in the front we have a powered light um, so that's really good nice little emblem right there as well um, the fenders are a little bit different as well these fenders cover more versus the other one the d3f was a little bit more of a sporty type of bike so it looks like the fender kind of started right here and just went off a little bit whereas this one it kind of goes up a little bit more um, this actually does more, look more like what i think the c in the c3 stands for which is a commuter um, so you know if you're going grocery shopping or whatever throw a couple of things on there i would not suggest riding this in the street but if you do I'm guessing that's why they have the uh, the brake lights and stuff like that on there. Um, oh yeah, as well as I showed you guys the fenders in the front. Also the same thing in the back. The back fender was kind of like a little add-on piece that just kind of flared from like a little bit of the tire just to cover the back end. This, it does have a lot more coverage. And speaking of coverage, it also has a cover on the, uh, the chain. So there's a chain guard on that one. Um, something else I noticed that's a little bit different. Uh, by the way, this one is priced a little bit lower than the other one I'm comparing it to. Again, it's the D3F versus the C3 that you guys see here. Um, these pedals are like stationary, whereas the other ones you can press a thing and fold them down to make the bike just a tad bit um, smaller in size. It does come with a nice soft seat that is adjustable. Um, what else? What else? What else? I think that is it for the most part. As you guys know as well, this thing does have uh, you know where some bikes fold in half this one you just kind of release that lever right there and the bike does fold down so this is kind of as compact as it can get well you can take the seat off but i don't feel like taking the seat off right now but you can take the seat off but you can't fold the bike in half you can only fold the handlebars down so i'll lift this back up and then i will try to show you guys as well the uh the front light how do we get that on i think we get that on by pressing and holding this so while the bike is like not on or anything or it's on but it's not in motion you press and hold that for three seconds and this light will come on so it is on so i'll press and hold it again you guys can see it go off there it is so that's what it looks like off and in the daylight of course you're not going to be able to see a significant difference right now because it is very bright outside but that as well as when you have it powered on the lights actually stay powered on but when you press the brake it still does flash for you so that's the difference so if the thing is not powered on when you press the brakes they do flash but when it's on the light itself does stay on and something else pretty cool too they have a little spot so you can add a, uh, a license plate so i might actually either get one if i could find one with my name on it or preferably maybe even try to make one myself so that is it i guess with the overview of the bike now we'll go ahead and take it for a little ride um i could set the camera up here but i think i might try to hold it and we're gonna do a little little ride around i'll show you guys the uh where i just went on my trail y'all i had to set up the little tripod thing i got the seat like super low so it's kind of uncomfortable in the riding position 
that it is right now and i'm also not the tallest guy in the world but the only reason i had to make the seat super low is to make sure i get a, a camera angle where you guys can actually see me and right now um i'm riding around this track i'll show you guys i guess my view and i'll talk while i ride here we are on the trail this bike is a pedal assist so i am barely pedaling and i do definitely feel the motor has already kicked in which is uh very good it's riding real smooth here on this trail and then when we have the uh, acceleration it goes a little bit faster so let me just go ahead and pull this thro throttle and there it is so now i'm not pedaling at all and we're in business we're, we're flying um my bad for the audio too again i got the microphone tucked in my shirt and it is pretty kind of windy out here so hopefully you guys um are getting some good footage here i guess I, I hope i'm getting some good footage for you guys um again speaking about the the mileage per hour um again it says it can cruise at around 15 and a half but then when you actually pedal and you know you pedal with the throttle on full you can get up to about 20 miles an hour now that's just what i read but we're just gonna say 15 and a half right because the last bike the d3f i believe that one is set at a cruising speed of 13 miles an hour or 13 and a half and then when you uh do the pedal assist and all that you can get up to 15 so maybe you might be getting five more miles an hour out of this bike versus the other one but there's not really a way for me to ride both of them at the same exact time to verify for you guys so it is what it is right for what information we have on the bike right now this is also my what i think my third time it's about my third or fourth time riding this model of bike um versus the other one that i had that i keep talking about i've had that one for a couple months now um like the other one the style of it this one something else i forgot to mention as far as like a difference i guess is this one has a faster um or i guess it, it puts out 350 watts of power versus the other one that puts out 250 but with them going the same speed um i think this that's why this bike can accelerate a little bit faster than the other one but the downside of that is the other one has a 10 what is it i think it said like a 10 i could be completely wrong i don't have the the paperwork with me but one is like a 10 amp battery versus this one it's like a 7.5 so you are going to get less battery but it is going to work itself a little bit harder so that's the up and down of it um took you guys around here for one lap now we're going to exit out and we're going to hit this trail uh, i don't know how long this trail is but the circle that I just took you guys around i did that a couple times equal to about a mile i guess four times no 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 two times around that thing i just rode y'all around and that was a mile so i just did that in under 10 minutes which i'm still you know still proud that i could do that you know <laughs> especially as somebody who doesn't exercise often but um i'll show you guys me in just a minute all right we're gonna stop in this hall real quick or this tunnel just for a split second angle might be a little bit sideways and i know you guys won't be able to see but i actually am gonna adjust the seat so by the time you guys see me in the footage again um my head might be cut off because i do need the seat to be adjusted a little bit better so this is what it's going to be looking like so y'all can see me like this can't really adjust it too much but uh back to the front we go it's like two different parks that are connected so i came over here in this area ran my mile and once we ride around We'll go over the bridge and go to another park that I go to sometimes. And I actually should have brought my other stuff, but it's okay. I forgot now. We could, we could have posted up over there and read a book or whatever. But or something else that I'm noticing that I did also notice the first time is it seems that since this motor goes a little bit faster than the other one, it seems like as I'm trying to pedal, I'm not really putting in that much work because the bike is already going faster than I'm able to pedal. So I think that has something to do with the gears, right? To where even if the bike is going, I should still be able to pedal and feel like I'm, 
you know, making a change or a difference in the, the speed that this bike is going, but it doesn't really seem that way. It seems that when I pedal fast, it's just kind of not doing too much. Something else too, I do want to mention, right? I mentioned this in the first time that I rode the bike and didn't think I wanted to use that footage and it has not happened to me a second time, but I just want you guys to be aware. I rode the bike on my first ride. Oh, it looks like they got an event going on over here. Soccer match or something. We ain't got time to stop and look though. We're gonna keep it pushing. Let me get over this hump real quick. All right, yeah. So I rode the bike the first time and it was super hot outside. So I don't know if I wanna blame it on the heat or the bike should just not do what it did. Anyways, the bike kind of gave out on the power a little bit. Uh, it did it like four times. Like it was riding perfectly fine for maybe like an hour or something. And then the motor started giving out and something crazy about this bike, which I don't know if it's just with this bike or all e-bikes, I don't have anything else to compare it to. But when the motor gave out, it was really hard to get some acceleration going on this bike meaning right now the the power is on and with me barely uh pedaling it is going it's cruising but if i turn the power off it almost seems as if the bike doesn't want to move at all so when the battery kind of gave or i won't even say the battery gave out the, the bike still had power but the motor itself it seems like it stalled and just didn't want to push so it gave me a lot of trouble getting this thing moving again it only did that though the first time that i rode it but it happened like four times in that first day and has not happened since so that's just something to look out for if this happened to you instead of thinking you know hey the bike doesn't work it's broke it's defective i don't know again this is only my my fourth time riding it but i've been good ever since right now i'm also hitting a slight hill uh this thing is rated for being able to climb i guess a 15 15 degree incline and anything past that i think that's where it's going to start struggling a little bit so up oh, let me slow down a little bit oh yeah it's a lot i'll show y'all real quick or y'all can't really see i don't want to go into the fence but it's a lot of people over there looks like a youth uh bunch of youth soccer soccer teams and stuff going i'll switch the camera around i gotta like duck real low for y'all could kind of see me but comfortably y'all gonna see the bottom of my beard i guess um make sure i don't fall off this bike but yeah i am enjoying this bike i really am though interested in like a full-size one preferably with uh fat tires so i could really cruise through all the dirt because I mean, I can't move the camera, but there's a bunch of dirt next to me. I'm riding actually on the street path, as you guys might have just seen a second ago. Um, but yeah, I want like a full size, a full size bike so I could take it hiking, you know, go up in the mountains and really be able to push through some stuff. This one ain't going to get me there. But if you're doing a small commute, this will work. Like I said, I kind of use it when I'm just going in circles around. I'm just going in circles around the park or going to check the mail or whatever. I wouldn't really like bust a mission across town on a bike like this because the, the battery is not going to last that long. Um, I think the battery, I don't know how many miles you can get out of it. I'm just going to roughly say you could probably get about 20 miles, 20, 22 to 30 miles, I guess, on a full charge. But the bad news is, like I said, after that, even though some e-bikes don't have pedals and it's just all uh, powered, this does have pedals. But yeah, you really ain't gonna get this thing pushing if the uh, the battery ain't going. It's way too hard to pedal. I guess because you know you got 14 inch wheels, so it's small wheels. Um, the weight, I think it can hold up to like 265. So you got to think the weight on the bike, the tiny wheels for the rotation, and you just ain't gonna want to pedal this thing all the way back if you don't have power on the bike. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm hoping, hoping. DYU, I know you guys got full-size bikes. Whenever the time comes for that, contact me, you know? Even though I'm not super raving about this joint right here, it'll get the job done. But I personally like the style of the first one that uh, I got from them, the D3F. 
up it did it right now so it looks like the the motor kind of gave out it does have still three let me pause it real quick i got i just gotta show y'all i'm gonna take it off i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to it doesn't really stall for that long but we do have you see I don't, I, i'm pretty sure when i just started this thing it showed you guys four bars and i had just taken it off the charger and put it in the truck so now we have three we only went around a couple times right so we got three bars um let's let's see if can we can we get some acceleration so it seems like it is going it did kick back on so when i tell you guys that it stalls it does stall and it did it again but when it stalls i guess it stalled for like 30 seconds so it's not it's not the end of it right but yep i think it just did it again or maybe i just almost lost my balance nah or actually yep yep see y'all see i'm twisting the oh see now it came back yeah i don't know but let me actually put this thing back on this tripod right here because i'm also kind of losing my balance i might fall a little bit so let me pause back live i still got the mic on my shirt i would hate to to lose the mic and not be able to find it at this park here it's a lot of people here right now i'm pretty sure i wouldn't know where to go to get it back uh but yeah so yeah it does seem like it just stalled on me one time again so it did it the first time and i did just come from climbing over that little i guess a tiny i don't know i'm gonna have to watch the, the the footage again but it went up a little slope and it seems like it gave out once it get matter of fact i'm gonna show you guys right now a little bit um so right now it's cruising right i'm cruising is good i'm gonna turn the bike off as it's cruising now the bike is off and it feels like it's still in motion didn't slow down at all i start pedaling we're doing good so it does feel like a normal bike right now as i'm cruising but let me brake let me brake and make then make the motor fully turn itself off i guess so now going from a standstill we're gonna start pedaling and it does seem like nah see so that's a different issue then or i'm also going downhill slightly i'm going downhill slightly but right now it actually does feel like a normal bike so something must have happened when i told you guys the battery or the the motor did whatever it did and it was really hard to pedal i don't know i don't know what happened i don't see it doesn't seem like you know i would have to manually press the brakes but it it definitely seems like with me even without me even pressing the brakes when the motor does whatever it does it seems like the brakes are on it's just hard to pedal but right now it's going good so i don't know what the the glitch is that's going on but i did not experience that with the d3f model but right now it's it's, it's going so let's just see if we can make it back to the truck y'all and i guess to make it an enjoyable ride i'm gonna turn the camera off throw some music on and uh have a nice little tuned up ride back to the to the whip see y'all in a minute 